Hey kiddos, welcome back. It's Mr. Hummer again. I have a fun little demo today for you. One of the things I think I enjoy most about science are discrepant events. A discrepant event is an unexpected outcome to an experiment or to a demonstration. And I think what I'm about to show you today is a good example of a discrepant event. So I'm gonna take a block of wood, boys and girls, and just put a few drops of water on that block of wood. Not too much. And I have a beaker that's empty and it's dry. I'm just gonna put that beaker on that block of wood. Okay. And then I have some ammonium thiocyanate and some barium hydroxide octahydrate. And I put both of those compounds in this beaker. There's my ammonium thiocyanate. And here is my barium hydroxide. And then I'm just gonna stir it up and take a look at what happens as I stir these two salts together. Hopefully one discrepant event will appear pretty quickly. We had two white salts, the ammonium thiocyanate and barium hydroxide octahydrate. There was no water inside the beaker. That water was outside the beaker. And it looks like I have some water in there, don't I? It's liquefied, hasn't it? It's going into solution. I wonder where that water's coming from. Hmm. Once again, it was barium hydroxide octahydrate and ammonium thiocyanate. Now, I know you can't smell this on the video, but I am getting a pretty strong whiff of ammonia gas as I am stirring this. So one of the products of this reaction is ammonia gas. And as I feel the beaker, it's getting, boy, it is really cold. We call these endothermic reactions because they take energy from the surroundings. It's called endothermic. In fact, if you remember the surroundings, part of it is the block of wood and that drop of water I put on the block of wood. In fact, this reaction is so endothermic and it gets so cold that that drop of water that I placed on the block of wood freezes. In fact, it's really hard for me to take the beaker off. It's frozen to that block of wood. Let me try here. Well, I can do it. Oh, I can't. It's called an endothermic reaction. Did that surprise you? It did me the first time I saw it. I thought it was pretty cool and it turned me on to science. Maybe it'll do the same for you. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.